Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a more special project coming in. Um, it's gonna be a little different than normal. So what we actually have here is an 86 Chevy S10, and it's got some rust in the steering box area. Um, basically, it's closed in and water couldn't get out. The rust piled up and then it started eating through the bolts. And what actually happened was the side of the frame broke out. I'll show you. So, to get it here, all I had to do was put a bigger washer on. Um, but I'll tear it apart and show you what actually rusted out here in a minute. So what we're going to do is um, pull everything apart and we're going to cut, um, basically cut this face off and then... Uh, we're going to restructure the inside and then um, weld a new face on and then we'll plate everything. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but like I said, it's a little different than what we normally do. But we're still going to just um, use some material I have around here. So still using scrap, still doing fab. Here we go. First thing we're going to have to do, get this tire off, get it on jack stands. Try to get as much room as I can. As you can tell, I've already pulled the hood and fender off. Didn't waste the, your guys' time watching me do that. It was kind of a pain. So we're gonna get the tire off, put it on jack stand, and then we'll start dismounting the gearbox and seeing what all we're working with. I'm gonna basically just start cutting and see what we come up with. We got the tire off so now you can sort of see what we're working with um so these control arms were new in what would have been 2015 you can see all the paint has come off and they're starting to corrode so we're gonna have to do something about that some sort of cancer spreading around here so um, if you get closer here you can see the rust down here um, because it's just sort of starting to give out in there. So I'll get, I don't know if you can see down there or not. Well, you can see light. So you can imagine how thin the bottom of this is getting. Um, so the plan is we're going to pull these back off and we'll pull this bumper brace off to get it out of the way. This is okay up here. Um, all the rust is settled, which took out these two. So what we're gonna do, take these, all that out, and then we're probably gonna cut um, somewhere in here and just start stitching everything back together. I'm gonna put a couple extra uh, structural ribs in there. And that way, if it does start to rust again, it'll hold up longer. I mean, this is an 86, so it held up just fine for being an 86, but just kind of an issue. So we're gonna see what we can do to better the situation, get just as much life out of this time. Um, I would like to just replace the whole front section of the frame rail, but finding one in better shape is basically impossible. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'll get after it and I'll walk you along each step of the way. So what we're looking at, as you can see, just the centers got soft and then pulled through on both of these. And this one, you can see is still solid. Um, it still has all the metal. It looks like about a 16th inch thick. So this one's okay. I'm not concerned about it being on this top end, but these two, I'm probably going to basically run a tube, clean this up, vacuum it out, run a tube from this side to the next. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is cut this, probably somewhere here, so I can get in there and weld the back side, weld the tube 
to the back side and then run it through and then we'll structure everything back in weld it back up probably run an inner liner for the bolt not too small so that the bolt if the rust gets in there it doesn't weld itself in there but something of that sort but you can see uh, so you can see clear through to the other hole there both of these it's just kind of strange how that softens up but we'll get it all cut out okay we got some of that vacuumed out of there and you can still see that it focuses still see some of the rust down in there that I can't get. But if you look, see there's a hole out the back side that we have to take care of too. This might end up being a little trickier than I hoped. There's also a small hole there, but that's supposed to be there. That's the drain, I think. So what we've got is just a little bit of smaller rust left in there. But once we get all that cut out, we can repair that. No problem. So that's where we're at. Now I think so I've drawn out where I want to cut. Probably that whole bottom area. Cut most of that out. And then we'll finish cleaning it up, seeing everything we have to cut off. And after that, we'll start making some templates clean, wild, get it back together. So now you can get a good view. You can see how rotten it is. Even that back wall up there, if it would focus is decent um, but you can see right along this structure is where it started to rust so you can see there used to be a tube here a structural tube that the bolt ran through uh, but you know they're gone so we're just gonna try to recreate that we're going to replace this back underneath here, and then we're going to replace this section probably all the way back. Uh, you can see where it's split there, so we're going to try to reinforce that. Might see if there's a plate I can order. Uh, I think these gearboxes are pretty standard, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to cut out the rest of this. Probably cut this out of the way, clean everything up just to get a good idea of how much metal it's going to take and we'll go from there all right so i have decided to give me the most amount of room i'm going to pull this core support and that way i have full access to the front of the frame and then i'll pull the steering box off or at least move it out of the way so i can access that side of the frame it's going to be more work obviously draining the coolant and trying to get the core support off but i think but I can pull the core support off in one big piece. So that's what I'm going to try. It'll, it'll add work, but it'll make this repair simpler for the inside. So if that's what I'm going to do. I think that that will be the quickest for me. So here we go. <laughs>
All right, after those couple of long time lapses, we got port support off, steering box out of the way. So now you can see exactly what's going on behind the steering box. Um, I'm kind of surprised I didn't, from looking at it from the other side, I didn't really expect what is here, but it's what we have to work with. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see that it's actually split away from this cross member and then it's even cracked all the way up here around this weld that goes to the engine mount bracket here so what we're probably going to have to do is cut all of this i will probably cut this out here all the way down and then basically just cut this arch all the way over and probably out front here because then I can make somewhat of a replica piece here and then we'll cut free here and here and probably what we'll have to do is layer in the the underneath on this side, layer that in first, get all, that all welded in solid, and then lay this new piece in here. Um, and then, of course, do the structural stuff to the other side. Um, but yeah, it's a little worse than I thought. But um, I'm, I'm glad I did everything that I've done to this point. This definitely would have been impossible if I didn't pull that core support. So definitely glad I did that. Um, yeah, so from here, I guess we'll do some more cutting. Uh, so I'll draw it where I want to cut and go from there. And if I've cut more off than I need, I think now I might have to, we'll see. But other than that, we're making progress. <music> So, <clears throat> this is how much cancer I removed that I think everything else seems pretty solid beyond that. So that leaves, um, just doing some more cleanup and then trim that last little bit out underneath and laying in the new steel on the bottom end and then we'll get to duplicating this. All right, everybody, day number two on this. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is finish cleaning up this frame. What we're gonna do is grind that out, um, measure a piece for a plate, we'll make the plate, and start welding. Um, I'm just gonna do one section at a time. I don't wanna do it all at once. I wanna make sure that everything fits like it's supposed to and it's gonna be structural. So, um, one at a time, here we go. So we've got the first section completely welded in. Um, pretty happy with it. I think it turned out good. Uh, I don't really have any complaints. Um, there's are some spots that are tricky to get to, which is um, I'm glad that I sectioned it together. Um, so we've got. Um, Basically, it's 
hard to tell, but so you've got folded in, wadded along the back side, and then up around the front, and then it bead runs up here. So I'm gonna end up trimming this off back square probably. Actually, it'll probably come down. And then, so this is already welded. So what's gonna happen is the factory uh, welds. So this was the frame and then this continued over the top and was like reinforced basically. So I'm gonna trim this and then I'm gonna make one piece this size and then I will make another piece to reinforce it like the factory. So it'll come up about here. I saved the piece I cut off so we could mimic that. And I think that will work. So I'm going to make this piece first before I make the outside piece. That way I can weld this and then I can reinforce it on the inside and then seal up the outside here. Um, I think that would be the most ideal. We have basically the rough outline. Obviously this gap, I think I can hammer this inboard and tighten up this gap and maybe hammer this outboard. But probably what I'll do is I'll just start doing a little bit of tacks around. That's everywhere that's snug that I like. And then we'll work the metal all around where it needs to be. The important thing is that this is flat, like factory. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so that the steering box can sit on the other thing I need to do before I forget is line this up to the steering box and mark the holes and then reference the holes on the old piece. <laughs> Uh, we got the plate tacked in and we have the steering box setting in place um, so because um, only the bottom was rotten we still have the one reference bolt at the top so I went ahead threw this bolt in just finger tight through there and then I needed to make sure that my holes lined up which they do which is awesome and then um, basically that's with the steering partially engaged and then the steering column alignment basically there so then i can confidently go in and finish weld uh that plate so yeah that's exciting i'm glad the holes lined up like i was hoping so now i can get that finish welded and yeah then we can work on the inner structure it was the perfect piece for what i needed couldn't be happier. So now it's time to take the box back out and start welding. All right, so patch is welded in. Um, it looks pretty good. Very happy with that. Nice and solid. Um, I mean, it looks just like the frame. It follows this curvature here straight down into here we're making good progress um i'm pretty happy with how this is turning out um yeah uh, probably gonna finish up here for the day um but tomorrow we'll get that other plate made and the reinforcements um, and try to start getting things put back together 
Um, the other thing I need to remind myself to do is paint the inside prior to finish welding so that there's at least some coating in there. Um, that's probably what I'll do tomorrow as long as it's not too humid. Um, but yeah, it's time to go in, have dinner, all that good stuff. So, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, it's the next day. Um, first thing we're starting out with is um, the reinforcement tubing on the inside of the frame. So I am going to measure for these widths of tube, inside to outside face. We'll probably leave a little extra for trimming. And then we will um, cut those out of some thick wall tube I have um, from one of the old mowers. Uh, my tripod setup fell over, so you didn't get to see me weld that. So, guess your time isn't wasted. Anyway, um, so we got those welded in. You can see the alignment there on that one, and then that one. And then I went ahead and made a couple passes around. Obviously, I can't reach completely around, that's why I double passed it. But on this side, um, we'll cut out. We make this plate, we're gonna cut out the circle and then I'll weld to the full outside rim. We'll probably try to sink it past, weld that and then grind it flush. Um, so that'll be structural, solid, probably better than factory. I'm not sure how they welded the factory, um, but I would assume some form of spot weld, not sure. We got the plate fabbed up. I'll show you what that's looking like. So, again, I'll have to do a little massaging to close this gap up, but no big deal. Um, it sits flush along the top. The holes line up really well, so I'll be able to reach in there and weld a full circle around each of them. And then I'll probably go back in and drill the 7 16 hole that the bolt is. thing I'm going to do, um, I went ahead and cut a notch so that I can get back in behind there and weld this seam too. Um, so that way I'll just be able to burn straight through this plate and then into that connection. And then we'll be completely solid and we'll weld the cap on and uh, then we'll test fit the box and do all that. So enough talking, let's get welding. We got everything welded in. Um, we got all the way around, stitched around the back side, um, and then we're stitched on the inside of the tubes there. So that's pretty good. There's Mr. Windsor. That's how I feel too, buddy. So um, it's looking pretty good. Next, we'll be profiling all this down, and then we're gonna lay a plate all the way up, um, just to overlap this joint here. 
Um, the original one came all the way up over here, but it had it cut out for the bolt to be recessed in. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I think that um, if you do that, some water can sit on there. Don't like that. So we're just gonna come up just below it and then down underneath. I think that'll be good. Um, so I'm gonna plane that off, cut out a piece, weld it, and go from there. Okay, was prepping this other piece, getting it bent, contoured to the way it needs to be. And I think I got a sign that it's time to wrap it up for the day. The vice said, I don't care to bend your steel anymore. So I'm gonna take that as a sign and we're gonna wrap it up for the day before anything else happens. So we'll see you tomorrow. Next day in the shop, Let's get this plate made, get this frame finished up, and get it back together. So, steering box is in, um, mounts flush, everything's square, I like that. Um, so now that I'm happy with it, I will tear everything back off and we'll get it painted, paint on the frame, as much stuff back there as I can, just to get a new coat of paint on. Yeah, and then we can go back together for final assembly. <music> got a fresh coat of primer and undercoat on there. Um, for this, I'm using the Rust-Oleum Rubberize Undercoat. Um, I like that it's paintable. I've used it many times. Um, so that way you can just repaint over top to match whatever other chassis black you have. We're going to have to coat all this eventually. But yeah, we're going to let that paint set up and we can get the box installed yeah we're making good progress so coming up next you'll watch the assembly um yeah i won't waste too much time doing that we'll just do a quick montage and get that knocked out and then we'll do some uh test driving alignment stuff We've got the mount repaired, um, cut out the old, welded in the new top section, all repaired, bolted back, looks good. So, um, now we're gonna go back in.
so we got everything back together fires up runs good um, everything's working like it's supposed to um, the last thing I have to do is um, we're gonna go grab some paint and we're gonna paint the inside of this and then the control arm as well um, just so that we can sort of try to stop that rust a little bit and then the last thing we'll be tying this up um, then we'll get the wheel on and take it for a test. Also, I have to top off the coolant too since we have the radiator out. But other than that, we're going to make a quick run to town for some paint. We'll get it painted, test drive it, make sure it's all good, and then we'll send it back. It's looking good. We got the underneath painted, which is great. Wheels back on. Everything feels nice. Um, fender gaps are decent as they were when it came can't complain so next we're gonna go for a test drive all right we're on the road feels pretty good um, it's responsive doesn't feel like there's a lot of play so definitely happy with it yeah I think I'll just cruise a little bit see what I can find but as for now it feels great so we got this s10 finished up drives great um, what I noticed one thing was that it clunks a little bit when you shift. Um, turns out it looks like it needs a universal joint, but I won't cover that in this video. Um, we'll get this steering video all wrapped up and uh, that way you guys can look forward to the next one. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get more videos out. Just kind of challenging in the summer, but... Um, I definitely really like doing this, so I'm going to keep at it, and hopefully you see more of me soon. Thanks for watching.